it's time for us to build some services on SAP HANA. And to do that, we're going to use server-side JavaScript, or in short, XSJS. The development stack on SAP HANA is split in three layers. The calculation layer, responsible for hosting all the business logic of applications. The control flow layer, responsible for transporting data from the database to the outside world. And the presentation layer, responsible for interacting with the user. Now we're going to focus on the control flow layer. This is where all the transportation logic is hosted. Let's recap that once you develop your application on SAP HANA, all the business logic is hosted in the server. However, this layer only hosts a lightweight procedural type logic. It is not intended for heavy workloads. For heavy business logics, you need to use SQL script and the calculation layer. The control flow layer could host logics such as validations, output formatting, service enablement, handling of authorizations, and others. The XSJS is an extension built on top of the open source JavaScript engine Mozilla SpiderMonkey. That means any compliant JavaScript code runs in XSJS. You can reuse any third-party libraries as much as you want, and you can find several information resources not only related to SAP, but in other sources like YouTube and Google, for example. For the specific XSJS functions, you can rely on the SAP HANA XS JavaScript reference guide. It is hosted on the SAP Help portal, and there you will find several examples of how to perform different operations on SAP HANA using XSJS. Here are a few examples of operations we could do using JavaScript, like executing SQL statements, making HTTP calls, and scheduling jobs on top of SAP HANA. But let's go to the practical side. In the next example, we will implement an XSJS code that will be responsible for retrieve data from an SAP Business One database. In order to perform this operation, we're going to use some specific XSJS interfaces, like the dollar $response content type, to specify what is the type of response we're going to provide to the client, the dollar $HDB get connection to execute a SQL statement, and also the dollar $response set body to set the content of our response.